Hi there, I'm Gary and I'm an ordinary bloke doing stuff. Welcome to the channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm not building anything, I wanted to take a moment in the rush of all of that to talk to you about Valery Grigoryenko, the artist whose work graces the front of kits made by the Rodin Company. It was announced recently that Valery Grigoryenko was killed as a result of the war in Ukraine. The exact circumstances aren't clear. It appears he may have been killed during the bombardments of the outskirts of Kyiv, where, of course, the Rodin factory is based. Whatever the reason, he's no longer with us. He was an artist responsible for the majority of the box art of the Rodin Company. His style was completely unmistakable. It was bold, dynamic, powerful, and often with quite difficult and challenging perspectives and viewpoints. My favorite is the Curtis H-16 flying boat in a really dizzying starboard turn over the top of in New York. You kind of expect King Kong to be reaching up and swatting it out of the air. Valery Grigoryenko is just one of, well, as I record this, around a thousand innocent civilian victims of this atrocious war. I know I feel pretty useless and helpless sitting here in my nice house in England. Um, I know an awful lot of you will feel useless too. Is there anything we can do as model makers to help the situation beyond just the usual human response of charity that we can all make anyway? Um, incidentally, all the money from this video uh, will go to Ukrainian charities helping the refugees escaping the war. So I was watching a couple of YouTube videos just yesterday. One was by a guy called Gavin Booth and one by Nigel at Nigel's Modeling Bench. And their ideas are simple, yet I think really creative and something that I wanted to just help push out. It's not, these are not my ideas, these are their ideas. I just think they're really good and I just wanted to share them with the people who subscribe and watch my videos. One day this appalling war will be over. How much of Ukraine is left, who knows? What is certain is that the people there will need employment and the industry will need rebuilding. Money will be being made available by investors, for, by banks, by governments, by whoever. How do they decide where the money goes? They decide to give it to people where the investment is going to return as quickly as possible. I might be cynical, but I guess that's the way business will still work in the future. The way they know who's going to give the money back to them the quickest is by looking at their order books. The companies with the biggest order books are the ones who will be funded most quickly and will get back on their feet the quickest. So, here's the idea. The next kit you buy, just the next one you buy straight off, off the cuff, we're all going to buy another kit sooner or later. The next one you buy, make it one from a manufacturer based in Ukraine. Okay, not Ethics, not Revel, not Tamiya, not Hasegawa, yada, yada, yada. One made in Ukraine. How do I know which it is? Well, I'm going to run a list of names here of companies that I believe are manufacturing in Ukraine or have been or will do in the future. The list is also in the information box below. If I've made any mistakes, please, please, please do not hesitate to tell me. I will change it in the list below, okay? That's your reference, the list in the information box below. Pick any one of those, buy one of their kits. That way, they come off the shelves in the distributors here, and the resellers and whoever else has got them, if their shelves are empty, they will reorder them. They'll put in your pre-orders so they know they've got business in the future. They will put the orders in with these companies. And when all this nonsense has stopped, the orders will be there to show investors, we have a full order book. Please give us the money to rebuild, restart, and support the families here in Ukraine. It's simple. It's very very little sacrifice we have to make but I think it'll work why don't we just have a look at some of the real gems 
that are on offer from these companies. Buy them from the bigger resellers, uh, go to your local model shop, see if they can help you, whatever it is, but have a look through their lists online, go and order some. Here's just a few ideas. I'm not a political person, um, I'm not in a position to tell anyone what to do or what not to do. I don't tell you how to vote, I don't tell you uh, how you have to attach decals to kits, I'm going to tell you what to buy. It's entirely up to you. Um, I just think it's a good way to help out. It's a good way to um, exploit what to us, to be honest, is a hobby and to turn it into something that can provide a livelihood for Ukrainian families when this appalling nonsense is over. Thank you if you've managed to listen to me rant this long. Um, I promise you I'll be back with a build video soon. Normal service will be resumed and hopefully very soon with the Ukrainian kit as well. Um, I hope to see you there. Thanks very much and stay safe.